Welcome to VFanatic and today we'll be talking about ESXi 5.5 installation. So ESXi is the hypervisor from VMware and the current version is 6.0. So here we'll be doing an installation of 5.5 and later on we'll do an upgrade to 6.0. So the way you actually install this is you need to get the ISO image from VMware. So you need to log into your account and download the ISO image for the build that you're trying to install. Now once you have that image in front of you, um, you'll need to actually either mount uh, the ISO by using the ILO or the drag of your hardware or you'll need to burn it to a CD or DVD and boot off that. Now once you boot off the ISO image or the CD or the DVD, the first screen that you'll, be, uh, you'll actually see would be the screen in front of you right now. So on this screen you'll be able to see the build number that you're trying to install as well as the version of ESX that you're going to be installing. Here in this case it's going to be 5.5 and the build number is the build number you see on screen. So it takes a while for all of the drivers etc all of the services to uh, load up but then once you're done you'll be getting this screen but then you'll hit, you need to hit enter to continue. So here I'm just going to be hitting enter and I'll be accepting the EULA by hitting the F11 key on the keyboard. So it's going to scan for all the devices which are there on the system and it's going to show us the device on which we, uh, we can install. So in this case I've just installed it on the only local device I have. I've chosen the keyboard as US English and I'm just entering a password. The password has to be seven digits and uh, after you enter the password it's pretty straightforward. It's going to scan for all the devices which are there on your system which you can install on. In this case I'm going to be installing on the VMHPA 1C0 T0 L0 which is a local device. So once I have the device ready I can hit F11 and that will start the installation for us. So the installation takes a while to be honest with you and I've just sped it up here. Now in case you want to find out what's happening in the background during the install. There are a couple of things you can do. A is you can hit the Alt F1 key and uh, F12 keys on your keyboard. So if you hit the F12, Alt F12, you'll be able to see the logs of the VM kernel uh, in the background. If you hit the Alt F2, you'll get a login prompt wherein if you want you can actually log in and uh, just go through whatever is going on. Here I'm just looking at the Alt F12 screen and I'm just looking at the logs which are scrolling past. Now the Alt F12 screen uh, you have an option to scroll up to scroll down to page through essentially the logs and if um, you get stuck on a particular point or if installation is failing and you want to find out as to what's happening in the background in that case the Alt F12 is an option that you need to try out. So once you hit the Alt F12 uh, you'll be able to page. You'll be able to page through exactly what's going on. Um, now here, I've just sped up the installation a, a, a bit here. Um, usually, it, it, it takes a while longer. Now here, uh, you can see that the screen is actually scrolling through. Now, in case I need to find out, or if the installation is actually stalled at a particular point for whatsoever reason, or the installation fails. In that case, I would be able to see it on the screen right here. In this case, the installation is going through. I don't see any failures. And um, the interesting thing is, after the install is over, you'll be able to see at the uh, right at the end of the screen there when it uh, when it actually finishes, it'll tell you that uh, the install is complete and we are waiting for a reboot. So here you can see that the install, install is actually done and uh, it's asking us to basically reboot the system. So here I'll be hitting the Alt F1 to take me back into the uh, uh, the actual uh, GUI option wherein I can hit enter to do a reboot. So once I hit enter it says that the server will shut down and reboot and the process will take a sh uh, short time to complete which is fine. The installation essentially takes about 15 minutes at the maximum. Now once the install is done, um, you can actually log in by using the same credentials, the root credentials and the password that you set while, uh, while actually installing. 
So here we can see the boot process happening. You can see the various modules which are getting loaded. And uh, yeah, so you basically have the uh, the devices and the modules which are loading up right now. So again, these screens have been sped up a little because um, there are a couple of points here, especially on the MPT and the VMK IBFT, where it takes a while for it to basically load. Uh, so what I've done is I've actually sped up the video a little at this point so that we don't need to wait just looking at the screen starting up. So here you can see starting up services. Um, so it'll take a minute or two here for it to fully load up. Okay, so it's almost done now. Okay, so here you can see that the install is complete. We have got the DHCP assigned IP address. I'll just log in with the username and password username of course is root and the password is the password we set while uh, while installing so I've logged in now I just need to wait until the prompt comes up the options come up for the menu so these are essentially the set of options that you have once you log in now I'll just hit on the configure password just just for the heck of it so I'm not going to be changing the password or anything so alright so let me just hit escape here so there you have it. This was the install of ESXi 5.5 and uh, it's a pretty straightforward install. The only thing you need to do is if you get stuck anywhere, in that case remember the option is uh, basically Alt F12. So thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.